Hey guys, you're watching NetLink Daily. Today, AMD does the hula. Yesterday, AMD unveiled their new line of graphics processors, codenamed Hawaii, at their GPU 14 event in Hawaii. Their first new GPU launch in two years. Here's a rundown. The new line employs a new naming scheme and is actually sort of split up into the R7 Performance line and the R9 Enthusiast line. At the low end, you have the 1GB R7 250 for around $89, and at the high end, you got the flagship R9 290X, which is apparently going to retail for $600. Now, the big news here is that the GPU is more powerful than Nvidia's Titan and is $400 less. Big news for AMD and kind of a shot across the bow at Nvidia. AMD has based their new GPU. GPUs on four concepts which they call pillars. GCN architecture to support DirectX 11.2 and 5 teraflops. New 4K drivers. New true audio technology which looks to bring some focus back to gaming audio. And the new Mantle API which offers developers direct access to GPU features and performance. Basically AMD's bid to replace DirectX 11. AMD is placing a lot of importance on audio for these cards. They brought in developers like Gen Audio, Astound Sound, and Audio Kinetic onto the stage to have them showcase what they would be bringing to the audio side of things for gaming. In addition, clips from upcoming games like Lichdom, Thief, Star Citizen, and my personal favorite, Battlefield 4 were all showcased. Talk about big titles, AMD doesn't mess around. Did you guys tune into the stream? If so, leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought. As always, thanks for watching Netlink Daily. I'm Jack and I'll be back. Seriously, who writes this stuff?